Howdy guys, it's Joe here. Today, talk to you guys about three beginner mistakes that I see pretty much every single Doomfist main that just starts to pick them up make. Now, of course, as well, you will be seeing a lot of these mistakes in the gameplay behind me because this was made before I really figured out any of these things. A lot of the times, I'm just playing Doomfist, having a bundle of fun, and killing myself over and over again. And hopefully today, I can kind of help you with all those problems, mainly killing yourself. With that said, let me just get onto the first thing that I feel like does hurt you quite a bit, and the first mistake I guess you guys could make. And that one is not shooting in between abilities. Now, how Doomfist kit works and how his damage works is that you can essentially shoot, use an ability, shoot, use an ability, shoot, use an ability, shoot, use an ability. There you go. You have all four of your shots out. You used all your abilities. And if you do that, you can do about 400-ish damage just without even hitting a wall. However, if you don't shoot in between all your abilities, you're only going to be doing about 150 to maybe 200 damage depending on how much charged your alt fire is or your rocket punch is. When you kind of think about that, you can realize just how much damage his normal fire does. As well with that, it can headshot making so that it does even more damage. And overall, if you aren't shooting in between your abilities, you gotta kind of think about that in the future. Uh, as well, another thing that you can try to do is shoot before you even get into a combo. So, you see somebody at a decent range, you shoot, you shift E in, you shoot again, you right click, and then you shoot again. Pretty much in between every ability you can shoot, there's really no lag that it actually gives you. And since all your abilities either stun them, knock them up, or put them at a very good displacement for you to shoot them, just make sure to do that when you are playing this guy. Secondly, I'm going to tell you guys to stop diving in alone, and ulting in alone as well. Now, I know that it is very fun to do this, and when you're on the PTR, you don't really think about it way too much. You know, you're just having a gondola of fun, and I've done this <laughs> way more times than I would really want to say that I have done it. However, diving it alone is almost never the correct thing to do, really with any character in the game, but I'd say especially with Doomfist. As Doomfist, I guess you could happen to get a very lucky, fully charged rocket punch, hit somebody into the wall, and then shift E away, and I guess that can kind of work as far as diving it alone, but if you miss the rocket punch, if you have to try to use your shifty to get a kill, or if you have to ult in and all your abilities are all on cooldown, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> you're going to die and you're going to maybe go one for one and probably go zero for one. Overall, I'm going to say that in pretty much every situation with every diver, you got to wait for your teammates, which can be annoying. Maybe you just have one teammate that keeps getting picked over and over and over again. Even if that's the case, you got to wait for them. You know, spam the group up with me thing if you have to, and then go in together. Again, just going in by yourself, uh, it just doesn't really work out way too well. As well, I'd say that Doomfist works great with every single tank in the game. Zarya, Reinhardt, Winston, D.Va, even Roadhog a little bit, he works great with, making so that he, uh, your tank can either pull people to you, or so that your tank can go in with you and make you protected by a barrier, or something like that, or at least have the tank take a lot of damage for you. I'd say, as long as you can at least get one tank, I guess, to go in with you, it can work fine, but yeah, don't go in by yourself. And the final thing that I feel like people make a huge mistake on, even more than just going in alone for kills, is playing out in the open. Now I feel like this one's a little bit harder to get used to not doing, but it is a big problem for Doomfist. Now while Doomfist can travel out in the open very easily, it's something that he's really great at, it does come at a cost. Traveling out in the open means so that your burst once you reach your destination is going to be much lower. You can either have to race to your shift E, at least your E, or of course your alt fire, your rocket punch, to get to where you want to be. Once you get there, maybe next to an enemy Widowmaker, or next to an enemy soldier, or McCree, sure you can try to 1v1 them with your leftover abilities, but it's going to be a lot harder than if you just waited for them to come to you, or if you just waited around a corner or around a sideline where you could probably hit the enemy, or I guess even just indoors where it's close enough that your rocket punch can maybe have the chance of actually hitting them, and if not that, at least getting you close enough to shoot them. The big problem with Doomfist is that, at far ranges, he's kind of in trouble. And especially in open maps, such as Elios, if you can't get right next to your opponent very quickly, they can just gun you down from afar. If you can happen to kind of think about this though, make sure that you're walking around edges that are closed in, and mainly not going through the exact middle of the map, which a lot of people like to do because you can, but you probably shouldn't, I feel like it'll definitely raise your survivability. Overall, just playing out in the open doesn't really work for this character. And while, again, it can give you the most mobility possible, it can also give the enemies the highest chance of being able to shoot you. If you're just jumping all over the place, up in the air, you gotta kind of realize that the McCree and the Widowmaker and the Soldier are all really getting easy pot shots at you. And by the time you get to them, you're probably gonna be around half health anyways. You probably won't be able to 1v1 them if they're playing really well and if they're actually hitting a lot of their shots. So again, stop running out in the open, stop killing yourself, 
and start playing smart, start playing indoors, or at least start playing where you can't just be mauled from halfway across the map by bullets. And there we go, some of the mistakes that I feel like you really can make as Doomfist that are pretty basic, and of course, you aren't really going to make past the first month or so of playing Doomfist. But again, I want to start to try to help you guys get pretty good at this character as fast as possible. With that said, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see any more future Doomfist content, as I want to make a lot of this stuff. And if you are hoping to see anything about, you know, what to actually do with Doomfist in the future, I'm going to be covering a lot of that as well. Comment down below what you feel like a lot of people are making huge mistakes with as Doomfist. As always, guys, thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.